Tēnā tātou katoa, ko te rāki tūrao pāsha hau no ngā tikahu, no ngā puhi, he kaiwhakāhua, nau mai ki tōhu ao. This trip was kind of like, you know, there's old school rite of passage, where they send a boy out into the jungle, into the desert, and he's got to go away a boy and come back a man. So, went away, collected all the images and stuff, and then brought it back to share with the whanau. So I reckon I've taken about, I don't know, like hundreds of thousands of photos on this trip in one year. Um, I just checked when I got back, I had like 22,000 images and that's the cold, cold images. So usually if I shoot 100, I'm going to keep 10 to 20. So 22,000 plus another 80%, that's a lot of shots as I've been traveling around, um, around the world. As I've traveled around the world, I've taken our Tino Rangatiratanga flag around with me. And I've had that flag flying on the top of um, different maunga tapu in, in, in like in Poike, in uh, Rapa Nui, up in Machu Picchu. But like all over the world, I've been, been taking our flag, sitting on a camel in the middle of the Sahara Desert with my flag and, and a big photo with all our mob. I already got, I already got my flag and this is the flag that um, I see represents us as a country, as people on, on this earth. One of the things that definitely, definitely shaped me is, you know, like in Tupaka, I Māori. Grew up Māori, but I look Pākehā, you know, because I'm a mix. So, looking Pākehā, but growing up Māori, I'm quite often too, too Māori in a Pākehā setting, or too Pākehā looking in a Māori setting and stuff. I've been really blessed in my life, like to have beautiful people and, and like amazing opportunities and things. But I remember as a young fella, definitely, yeah, no, it, was, it, was, yeah, it was just hard finding because you walk the line between the two cultures. So finding a place where you're like, yep, this is who I am, this is, this is how I am in the world, that sort of thing. It wasn't until I sort of got older that I was like, yeah, no, this is me. When I introduced myself to people, like I was saying before, and they're like, Haha, what's the short version? So like now I'm like, now this is who I am, I'm Te Rafutiro. You can call me Te Rafutiro. <laughs> A lot of it is just knowing who you are. Describe your photography style. Um, for me, like the important things that I like to capture is like people, performance and place. And a lot of people were saying actually at the exhibition last night, you can see like the soul of the person, you can see what they're feeling, you can see what they're thinking about in the photo. That's what's important to me. So if I was to take a photo of us, I'm not taking a photo of two guys talking, I'm taking a photo of the space in between. Like what are we talking about? Why are you leaning in because you, you're interested? Or are you like, oh no, I don't believe this fellow? Well, you know, like that's, that's the story that I like to capture. Kia ora whanau, here's my five tips for success, whatever you call success. Uh, number one, what you put out is what you get back. So if you put out heaps of effort, then you get heaps of good things coming towards you. If you pump out mean energy, then heaps of mean energy comes back towards you. If you're really good to people, then people will be good to you, no matter where you go. Number two is connect and engage. Actually connect and engage with the people and the places that you go to so you can experience the real richness of a place and the richness of the relationships that you build with people. Tip number three, keep your eyes up. A lot of us spend our time going like this or walking around like this. But what I'm saying is keep your eyes up and keep aware of the opportunities that are coming your way. Uh, keep your eyes up and engage with the people that are, that are interacting with you. And if you keep your eyes up, then you can capture the real beauty of this world. Number four, be curious. Learn, grow, stretch, ask heaps of questions. The only stupid question is the one you didn't ask. Number five, take care of yourself. It's really important to take care of ourselves because often we're thinking about how we can help or what we can do for other people. So take time to breathe, take time to relax, take time to eat good food with good people, listen to good music in a really cool place so that we can keep pumping, so that we can keep creating and so that we can keep contributing to, to our world around us and to all the people that we love.
Thank you very much for watching another Omfa video. Now for more videos, click here. And to check out some cool stuff on our Facebook page, click here.